Hello, hello, hello. Uh, ben from what's now called Arrows Adventures. Um, most of you that follow this page will know us as Old Bessie and the Little Freelander. Um, sorry, I'm just making a brew. Got a new new cooker, so I thought I'd use it. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's really bad as you can tell my camera and camera skills haven't improved so yeah i don't know how they do it where they can do things and you know you know, you know what i mean right so youtube i've obviously updated the facebook page um so basically now we are i am running this page as arrow adventures not old bessie because Unfortunately, hot. Unfortunately, um, I had an accident in Old Bessie. Um, not her fault. Completely my fault. Um, you know, she actually did really well protecting me. Um, I was uninjured. Uh, no one was injured at all. I basically ran into the back of a van. Um, and the Freelander, bless her, the Freelander TD4 um, SE that we had she took the full brunt um you know broke radiator broke bumper bonnet crack lights um yeah she she did her job she protected me she kept me safe um but unfortunately it wasn't worth me keeping her so i stripped her down of all the parts i had um and got rid of most of them as i was really a bit lost i didn't really know what way to go so I didn't really, didn't really know which way to turn. Um, and then Arrow came along. Arrow is my Land Rover. Yeah, I stayed with the Green Oval. Discovery 2 TD5 2000 registration. So she's a W reg. Um, but she's the premium model. So it's got heated leather seats, heated front screen when that works. Um, electric windows all around, power fold mirrors. It did have the standard Land Rover head unit, but I've changed that already. Um, and it had the 18 inch Hurricane wheels, which are in the garage now. Um, obviously, that's another thing. Um, quick, quick sidetrack since we last spoke. Um, I now have a garage, I'm not doing this in my shed. Um, we moved house, we were lucky enough to find a place. Uh, in the area that we wanted to be and um yeah it's lovely got a driveway got a garage um and the house is lovely so yeah so i can actually move around guys you can see me stand up i know there's not much difference from when i'm standing to sitting but you can see me stand up so it's lovely um what else where was it yeah disco 2 so yeah i went through a disco 2 um reason i went that is i wanted a bit more space because um hopefully the wife won't watch this but i'm thinking about getting another german shepherd or belgian malinois or belgium shepherd so another biggish dog and we've got a chef german shepherd already um and he loves the boot i mean he's got so much more room uh, plus with the kids growing up you know they need they, they have more stuff so it came up she was cheap she needed bits, you know, she needed to watch linkage doing, which I've just done. Um, that was bought from Auto Grove Engineering. Um, definitely recommend their guy, them guys. Um, I went for a nice JCB yellow because I let the wife pick the colour. Um, lovely refurb work, you know, uh, pressed in beautifully, paint jobs lovely. You know, really, really good, bit of care. Um, I researched and followed discovery2.co.uk I think it is that website he has maintenance um, like procedures and, and it tells you how to do things and they certainly have a really easy to follow just picked the bits out that I needed and got on with it but yeah um, be careful jacking it up but if there's a couple of you there happy days if you've got two jacks happy days you know you'll be fine it's, it's an easy enough job um, what else? 
change the wheels I put 16 inch modelers on now with uh, discoverers um, 285s wrapping around them um, they're a bit they're, they're very wide it gives it a very aggressive stance um, I'm probably gonna upgrade when they're done and I might I'm most able to discover it, but I might only get like 275 so I'm, I'm tucked in a little bit um, what else so the man person before me had done quite a few electrical alterations so I've been slowly putting them back to normal and upgrading where I need to so like I said I've done the stereo because the stereo was just crap um, I got the clock reworking because the standard clock wasn't working I got that reworking um, yeah just running I've just been running like I've not connected it all up yet but I've been running like at positives and earths around the truck while I've got it in bits so I've now got a positive and an earth above me above the rear view mirror if you don't know a discovery 2 they have the roof cubby in front of you or a map holder I think they call it um, I've now got a positive going in there because the idea is I'm going to put my uh, going to get hold of a little CB probably like a little midland or something I'm going to put that above the passenger there so I've got the mic right there nice and easy or just put it above me on my little map holder um, plus the idea is anything on the roof uh, i.e. the roof rack because that's the other thing even with all this covid rubbish i managed to um get hold of a hannibal roof rack at a really good price um so i have that that needs i've got to do a bit of modification on the top bars i'm going to put the, the sloped bits back on but i need to cut them down and, and, and make it look really nice and i'm thinking about getting that powder coated um, um same with some other bits which i'll talk about in a minute um so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of a switch panel up there as well. Uh, I think some of, I think the HSE discos or whatever they are, they had like sunglasses holders. Um, and obviously twin sunroofs on this, but I've sealed mine up with um, sealant, um, mainly because I've got climate control, got four windows down on all doors. I don't need sunroofs and I'm gonna have a roof rack, so there's no point. So I've just sealed them up just to be done with them. Um, and after the weather, especially the weather we're having today, they are uh, holding up pretty good. Um, so, yeah, the idea for the roof rack is um, probably four spots on the front. Um, thinking of doing um like the half moon shaped ones you know the, the flush fits that sit on the side of vans normally um scene lights i think some people call them one of them either side to like illuminate the side of the truck and then probably a couple on the rear to illuminate the rear so if i am out anywhere which obviously is the plan when everything calms down and work settled down a bit more and this that, and the other um if it is a bit late at night, I can flip a switch, probably a zombie light switch for just for you know just for a laugh. Um, flip that one switch, and my front flood, my front top top lights on the roof rack, which will be my floodlights, just to illuminate the area in front. The two side scene lights and the two two rear scene lights just literally illuminate everything up around us so I can maneuver the vehicle in pitch black and I can see what's around me um, and if people are guiding me they can see what's around me um, going on from that I have some flush fit ones that I did buy for the Freelander originally even paid the extra money and got some gentleman to 3d print me a special bracket um, never got to fit them which is quite lucky because I banged the front of the car but I've still got them and I really like the idea that some people have done which is the bit of bodywork below the top light cluster and basically the bumper they've fitted them in there um, and wired them up to their reverse lights probably gonna do that because I really like that it just gives me boom in instant reverse lights um, I was gonna go with what everyone done got gutter mount lights on the top pointing down wire them into the reverse but everyone does that 
So I'm, I'm going to do this. I've seen it on a few trucks. Keeps it tidy, keeps it smart. Um, on the front, I, luckily enough, this is what I'm standing in between, I was able to pick up an ARB front bumper and an ARB rear bumper. And if I can work my magic, my lovely camera skills. So there's the front. And there's the rear. So, yep, yeah, they look tatty. They do need uh, some work, but that's going to be a 2020 winter project. Um, I'm probably going to start stripping them down, taking bits off of them and things like that. Like the front bumper has the number plate bracket um, fitted um, in the center. I'm probably going to take that off and keep my eye out for some ARB nine inch round spots um, or ones similar of that sort um, as they're quite pricey. Um, but I'm going to have spotlights down there because you know driving spotlights that's what you want you want that distance you want that solid focus beam on the ground level um, and then obviously the top to illuminate the area so um, yeah what else um, I will get a winch for it um, I am talking to a couple of companies but the main one that a pal of mine works in is a company called Goodwinch. Um, their kit's brilliant, guys. They use it on challenge trucks. Um, you know, really nice bunch of lads. You know, if you are thinking or even toying with the idea of getting a winch um, or upgrading your winch, definitely go onto the website, goodwinch.com. You know, go on the Facebook page, Team Goodwinch. You know, give one of them a message, talk to one of the guys, just tell them what you want, what you're thinking. And, you know, what's nice about them is they do this. They're not people that like, you know, make just make things just so they can say they've, they've made it or that's just their job. These are guys that make these winches and use these winches. They've got first-hand experience. You know, they do the challenge trucks. I know one of the lads is doing, no, sorry, two of the lads, is doing up they're doing up defenders to use for overlanding um you know so they know what they need they know what to recommend you know you can go in and say i want this this and this and they'll say okay mate no worries are you sure sir you know just thinking of it you might want to upgrade the rope to this and or upgrade this to this you know or you might you know you don't need a twelve and a half thousand pound. You only need a nine thousand pound. You know you'll be fine with it. You can, you know. I I like them guys because I hate talking to companies that just make products, just for, to make money. I like it that, especially in the Land Rover world, you talk to someone that makes a product. If they use it themselves, you know, it reassures me a bit more. And the fact that I spoke to one of these guys. Um, and you know, I, I said to him, yes, I'm gonna overland my Discovery 2. You know, I, I wanna to go to Scotland, I wanna to go to the Pyrenees, I wanna go all around Europe, I wanna to go to Germany, I wanna to go to the Alps, you know, and maybe in a few years when my kids are a little bit older, I might even push out and, and, and go like, I don't know, Morocco or somewhere like that, you know, some somewhere even further. Um, I don't know, plus Norway, that's another one I really wanna do. Um, and what he said to me was, you come to me when you're ready, tell me what you want, tell me how much your disco weighs with everyone in, including your children, and I will do the best deal I can for you and give you the, give you one of the best winches we've got. Now for someone to say that when they know that I'm gonna transport my children and basically our whole lives on the road, and for him to say, I'll fucking look up, oh, excuse me, my bad, apologies, I'll look after you, you know, just let me know. No pressure. No, like, oh, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? 5% off, 10% off, 15% off, 5% off. No, no, no pressure. Just literally, when you're ready, then you come to me, I'll look after you. I, I can't, can't fault them. Can't recommend them enough. And that, um, really looking forward to, you know, hopefully spending some more time with them. Um, hoping next year that, uh, S, we'll just say S, um, will have his defender ready or in a condition so it's ready 
um, we'll actually be able to all meet up and have a little camping trip somewhere because um, they're about three hours away from me so yeah looking looking forward to that hopefully we can work something get something done with that um right completely went off subject there so yes arb front bumper two big nine inch spotlights in the front nice winch obviously if you know anything about me or you've seen some of my other videos you know that i'm recovery through and through hence why i you know especially as the wife said i was allowed a winch i'm getting a winch but i'll also have uh, proper front recovery points um, and proper rear recovery points um, rear bumper it's just a bit it's, a, it's an ARB rear bumper it's got the two shackle ports on it and the two swivel holes in it and the holes for the lights that's it there's no tow hitch on it there's no two inch receiver on it because <sighs> I got a lorry license I can tow I tow at work I don't want to be towing with my Land Rover I don't want that Added, you know, that added ground clearance. I, I, I don't see any reason why I need to tow outside of work. Um, if I get into a situation where I do need to tow, then I have, <coughs> I have some friends that also have Land Rovers um, or cars with tow bars on, and I'll just borrow their car and and do it that way. Um, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not. I was thinking of the idea of getting a bumper with a two inch receiver in like the um, US market has and making myself up like a drop plate on a two inch receiver hitch. Um, so literally I could just literally slot it in, bang a couple of pins in with some R clips, job done, drop down receiver that I can have a standard tow ball on, a drop pin ball uh, for plant um, or a NATO hitch. But I don't I don't see the need so I'm not that I'm, I'm not doing it I'm staying away from it um, you know that plus I'm gonna get a new tank guard um, protector skid plate whatever you call it I'm gonna look into that because um, that one's a bit rotten on there at the moment so she needs she needs doing um, what else let's push on I I do have to pop out today and I have to go and collect some checker plate because my friend uh, has some checker plate for me. I'm hopefully going to make a video on how to measure, mark out, measure, and make your own bonnet checker plate. As that's the main reason I'm going to do it. Main reason we're getting bonnet checker plate. I know a lot of people don't like it, and um, or they think it looks rubbish or whatever. That's fine. But and I know it will change the look of the car. It will take it more from more cars and more utilitarian looking and all that. I'm not doing it for that, I'm doing it purely for the fact that I'm five foot five, my partner's an inch shorter than me, my children are going to be small, um, you know, means we can just sit on the bonnet and like watch the world go by or look where we're going or look for a track. Um, it is literally just another way of giving us a boost up in the air. Same reason why as well, jump into the back of the truck. I have a full length. Um, now I'm I'm learning these are quite. I don't know whether rare is the correct word, but they're not well known. Normally on a disco, you have the short ladder, which goes from basically the rear door handle to the top of the door. Well, my one goes the full length. Well, I've got to take the disco name off the bottom because that's where the bottom of it goes. I literally, I basically have an extra rung. Um, so it's going to be the old hoi up onto the bumper and then la 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 up, up we go sort of thing which is going to be great um, because when we set the roof tent up we have the roof tent coming off the driver's side um, so my partner does the rear section so she can go up the ladder and help me fold it up um, and I, I do I do the front end um, what else yeah, what else? Um, kit wise, oh no, that's it. <coughs> so, um, I have signed up and joined Hampshire and Berkshire 4x4 Response. Um, they're a recognised charity guys, and they go out and do so at the moment with everything going on. They've been doing PPE deliveries. Um, when the winter's hit before in the past, they've gone out and they've moved nurses around they've moved 
you know, children that are stuck and can't get home into the rural locations or whatever. Um, they've gone out and pulled people off the motorways when they've been stuck or out of ditches or out of, out of ponds. Um, when the floods hit, they work with the environment agency and the police and they man road closures on flooded roads um, and obviously rescue people um, if they're kitted out to go into water they obviously rescue people and go in and um, and, and get them out so to speak um, yeah um, I've only just joined it really I've only been in a week or so but Everything I'm seeing online, because obviously everything's restricted at the moment, everything I'm seeing online looks really good. I'm really excited. Um, can't wait to actually start getting out, meeting some of the other team members, getting involved in things, helping out, you know. It'd just be um just be nice to 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 be able to help out and have that cover there. So, you know, I'm all legal and legit. So on the back bit of that, you don't have to do it. And I wasn't gonna do it on the disco. Um, I put flashing strobes on the Freelander, but that was because of the charity work I did with the Santa sleigh, to, uh, crawling around Portsmouth, uh, central Portsmouth late at night, <laughs> um, doing charity collections with a Santa trailer on the back. Um, I had to do it for that. Um, I wasn't gonna do it on a disco, because I didn't believe it, um, but, I am going to do it now because it it kind of justifies it, you know, I hopefully will be out responding um, to whatever they need or whatever the county council need, so, excuse me, <coughs> so yeah, I want to, you know, I want to make sure that I come home to my family, um, I've done jobs in the past where flashing lights have saved my life and kept me and others safe um even though i know some of you might say a lot of people won't pay attention to them and you bang on the money they won't but i'm gonna do it i'm probably gonna put a couple of just a couple of strobes on the front probably a couple on the rear and just need to work out a decent spot um but yeah a couple on the rear and what i might do just just again for shits and giggles uh, excuse my French, but is I might put one either side on the roof rack in the middle, and that um, you know I might have the scene lights, you know, roughly in the middle, and then I might put like a strobe next to it, sort of thing. So from whatever angle, you know, I will I I I will be illuminated. I'll uh, you know as soon as I pull up on scene, I can push a button and boof, you know, nice and there. Plus as well, the other type, other thing with that on the side as well is some of the pictures I've seen of the guys previously doing road closures. They've had their vehicle across the road sideways and they've got their beacons going. Can't see it when it's sideways. So sticking a couple of beacons either side, a couple of strobes either side, just makes it a bit more obvious to oncoming traffic. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, doing a bit of volunteering, helping out and giving back sort of thing. Um, so yeah, only a fairly short one. Um, still don't know how I'm feeling about YouTube yet. Facebook I'm getting my idea around on Sundays, uh, Sunday evenings I normally do a Facebook Live um, and I just do an update of if I've done anything that week on the Land Rover or any ideas I've got or where I'm thinking of going, or just a general chit chat now. Um, but YouTube, I don't know. I If you give me a thumbs up, it lets me know people's watched it. Um, and if it starts taking off, then I'll do, I'll try and do some more YouTube. And I might even look into getting a better camera. Um, obviously this is all pre-trip stuff. You know, this is all maintenance, modifications, repairs, upgrades. You know, and general family day-to-day -day stuff of a Land Rover Disco 2 now, not a Freelander. Um, but the idea is the same. You know, I'm going to try and show you how I do things, how I fix things, why I fix them, why I modify them, how much it will help me, if it will help me at all. You know, you guys think I'm being silly, put a comment down below, let me know if you think any of my ideas are crazy, because 
I'm all up for that chat and discussion and I will try my very best to get back to everyone. Um, so yeah, let me know guys, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hopefully if I get enough likes and subscriptions and comments and all that magical YouTube stuff, I'll do another video of more updates and I'll do a walk around rig a walk around of the rig um, hopefully when the weather breaks a little bit and might not be able to get a roof tent out though because it's a bit damp still isn't it but yeah next video if I get enough likes and comments I'll do another video soon and I'll go up we'll go up into the woods and we'll do a video and we'll do a walk around rig and I can tell you what I'm thinking to do what and where so yeah thanks very much for watching guys stay safe See you soon. Bye-bye.